Welcome to another edition of Web Chat with the Warden. I'm joined by Warden David Mayberry. How are you today, sir? Very good, thanks. Now, we have some interesting issues coming up at Council this week. The first one I wanted to speak to you about is uh, the North Street construction in Tilsonburg. We're nearing the end there, I believe, right? Yes, this is the uh, fourth phase, uh, kind of a four-phase project, uh, and this will, uh, will complete the project. We hope to have it done by fall. Um, it's a little over $2 million in road reconstruction, about $700,000 in uh, water, wastewater, uh, like repairs and, and re rehabilitation. And then uh, we'll spend about $1.1 million on a new uh, pumping station. And it's really just an attempt to, uh, to kind of keep up to, uh, to today's standards and, and be ready for the future and to make sure that our infrastructure is in good shape. And uh, so that's been a long-term project there in uh, Tilsonburg, but I look forward to seeing it finish this fall. I'm sure the people of Tilsburg also looking forward to seeing that ending. Now, uh, <laughs> we've also have uh, in Thamesford with the closing of the Maple Leaf Foods Processing mm -hmm. Plant. There, uh, there are some issues with with water and wastewater. Well, the uh, the big challenge in uh, in Thamesford is that uh, the Maple Leaf was the largest single user of water, and uh, that uh, about uh, 60 67 percent of all water was used by uh, Maple Leaf. Uh, but more concerning for the, for the county is the fact that they uh, used about 75 or 70 to 85 percent of the capacity of the wastewater system, and the system is designed to handle sort of a certain flow, and so when uh, you lose that much capacity or that much uh, affluent going into it, you have to restructure it. So we're going to have to uh, spend about half a million dollars to really kind of make it smaller, to make it work for the for the village or for the yes you know, for the village. Uh, without the uh, the presence of uh, a maple leaf, at the same time you kind of want to make sure that you haven 't uh, you know done anything that would preclude any kind of other uh, new industry moving in and so uh, staffs brought forward a report saying that for uh, about five hundred thousand dollars, they think they can retrofit it so that it will be functional and yet not be uh, sort of totally disbanded or, or disassembled so that we couldn 't uh, you know build back the capacity when we need it. And another major budget item on uh, the agenda is Blossom Park. What's happening over at Blossom Park? So uh, Blossom Park uh, had been scheduled to put in another, uh, I think, 22 units. And the, uh, recently we've, uh, we've agreed to put in some more money so that we can build another eight units there. The old uh, facility will be completely removed and uh, a new facility for 30 uh, uh, not-for-profit housing uh, um, units will be built. Uh, these units will be built for people that are having, uh, you know, various challenges in their lives and, and uh, where they need a little bit of uh, supervision or care. And so we're looking forward to spending that money there. It will be a passive house standard. It will, uh, you know, be some of the most efficient uh, um, building as far as energy use so that over the long run we save money by, uh, by not having to spend as much on heating and uh, on air conditioning. And I also see that uh, some of the funds for that are actually coming from a, a withdrawn housing project in Tilsonburg? So the, uh, yes, we, we were hoping to do two projects, one in, uh, at Blossom Park and one in Tilsonburg. Uh, the provider in Tilsonburg has decided that they can't go forward with the project. And so that money was, uh, was basically earmarked for use this year. So we uh, moved it to the Blossom Park and expanded that project slightly. Uh, while we won't have quite as many units at the end, uh, I think everyone's looking forward to uh, being able to figure out some new housing project for Tilsonburg. Uh, we know that we have a need there, as we do across the county, and so we'll be looking forward to ways of uh, you know, finding a partner that is able to, uh, to help us get the next social housing project done in Tilsonburg. Perfect. Well, all these issues are coming up at Council this week, of course. The public is welcome to attend. Thank you so much for joining me once again, Warden David Mayberry. And we, <laughs> and we will see you next time.